Hello, my name is Erinique, also known as Erin, also known as EP, and you are watching EPTV. Today we are doing extra long acrylic nails for under $10. Yes, under $10. Now do not worry, because all the items will be listed in the description, and I will go into further depth about these full cover um, nails, these acrylic nails. These are all the items, the tools that I'm going to be using, no drill, nothing extra today, simple. Now I am going to cut my nails low. It's optional, but I prefer it. Now you're going to need some type of tool, something. Push them cuticles back. That's no option. Get all that dead skin off your nail. You can even do this with an orange stick. Anything. Anything you can get them cuticles back with. But I will list this tool in the description because it was only like 50 cents. Now these steps are important. You need to follow these steps if you want your nails to stay on for two weeks, seven to 10, seven to 14 days. You need to take a file, it could be a buffer, it could be anything, you need to get that shiny coat, shiny layer off of your skin. It needs to be rough so the nails can stick. Come in with alcohol, acetone, alcohol is better to me, and get all the dust and get all the oils from out of your nails. This step, you need to do it, you need to do it. You can use any nail glue, but I'm going to be using Kiss Brush On Nail Glue. I'm going to do a thin layer on my natural nail and then a nice layer on the nail. I'm going to put glue on the fake nail and my real nail. Now I know it looks like I'm pressing hard because I am. You want to press firmly to get all the air bubbles out. I start at the cuticles and then I press down to the end of the nail. It will help you ensure that there's no flooding and that there is make sure that there's no spaces in the nail. I'm buffing down the sides of the nails. I would rather, this is an important tip, I would rather your nails be bigger than smaller because if they're too small, they're going to pop off. I would rather them too big because you can always shave them down on the sides to make it more the size that you need. Let's talk about these nail tips though because I love them. It's easy to file. They're not super strong, like super thick that they can't bend and be flexible, but they're not super thin to where they'll fold and just break on you. So the, I was looking up um, the description and they aren't acrylic like the acrylic solution, but they are like acrylic plastic. So it's not plastic, but like a stronger plastic, which is stronger than your regular press-ons that you would get online or good at the store. That's what makes them pretty unique to me, which I think that everybody should get them some of these, even if, you know, to have in between wears. But these full cover tips is the bomb. For to be cheap and like affordable, I got that whole box for like, I think $6 or something like that. I will leave the link. Don't worry about it. We're going to do both hands and that same repetitive Put the nail put the nail glue on my nail and then on the nail press firmly Pr real simple real simple i also wanted to point out some details about these tips to where like i've done press on tips before or buy my own tips and paint them and they will be flat these ones have their own apex like it's amazing the way that they're shaped and made they have a nice curve to them um to where it's not too curved but it's not too flat um it's, I was they're supposed to be taper squared so they look pretty taper squared to me they do come in three sizes they come in XXL then XL and then just a regular length where it's not medium but it's um, not too long so they got some different shapes if these are uh, different sizes if these are too long for you which I love as well I'm just so glad that I found these and I want to put you guys on because I don't like to make really um, long commitments when it comes to acrylic nails plus I'm very tomboyish so they are very painful when I stub them and break them and I like that I can just pop these off if I need to now I try my best on camera to show y'all how I file but I'm just gonna file a little bit to make it more look like I just got them done at the shop do not shake your nail polishes roll them so it stops the bubbles from coming in this is a dollar store nail polish throw some glue on that top let's go now the key is I use cheap nail polish, but the key for me that makes it not so worrisome is I get a gel top coat, like a gel-like top coat, which is by Kiss, no, Sally Hansen. 
Telly Hansen makes a really good top coat and uh, makes my nails last for until I'm ready to take them off. I will leave that a link in the description as well. We're just going to paint these bad boys up. Just a tip, I'm doing two coats. Let it dry, then I put the top coat, then I put my uh, accessories and designs. I'm going to let you guys enjoy me um, painting. And I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. If you have any questions, please DM me on social medias or you can always leave comments. I will get back to you faster through social media than on YouTube. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys appreciate you guys so much. These are so freaking cute. I did these nails for my birthday. I was gonna get them done at the shop, but for all the designs and all it's three simple colors, they wanted a hundred dollars and something plus. So I'm gonna throw these little press-ons on for my birthday and um call it a day. They are so freaking cute and they really look like that I went and got my nails done at the shop. Oh, I'm gonna throw this in. If you make any mistakes, put you some acetone on the top with a q tip, boom. There you go period all the information that you guys really need to know i will have the gems the sally hansen top coat the tips even all the tools and everything that i used will be in the description so when you are doing cheap nail polishes or non-gel nail polishes or even a transparent color like this you always want to come with two coats do that first coat let it dry and then come with that second coat let that dry and then put your gel top coat on top so i'm gonna let you guys paint then i'm gonna come in at the end when we're doing the details and the designs and i'll pretty much walk you guys through that are so freaking bomb these are some of the best looking press ones i've ever made so this is the sally hansen gel top coat that i use which is brilliant i recommend it if you don't have a lamp no lamp needed and it gives you that great shine and it protects the color so one of my nails is cricket my pinky nose cricket but i mean it is what it is it's ever since i jacked up my nail like years ago um my pinky nail on my left hand it's just always crink cricket like that like it don't matter how I put the nail on even when I go to the shop it comes out cricket like that I lost my nail bed like some years ago and um that's really kind of why I don't do acrylics anymore is because I stubbed it and lost my whole nail and then it grew back all cricket and it is what it is so yeah you can do two coats of that top coat if you want to and um we're just going to get into the gyms Oh, I guess I should mention I got all of these all of these things from off of AliExpress except for the nail polish and the nail glue but the gems the diamonds the nail tips uh, the tools like the file and the the tool I used to push my cuticles back I got in the nail clippers I got all of that from AliExpress I think in total I spent maybe $16 because of shipping but yeah so all I'm doing is I am using nail glue um, really gel will work best so your diamonds don't fall off but I don't plan on having these on longer than a week so yeah look at that cute put the nail glue put your gems on it let's go this is why I like doing my own nails because this at the shop you are gonna pay five to ten dollars a nail especially if you want a blinged out nail I paid a dollar 25 cents for that whole box of gems the flat face gems now the Swarovski crystals and stuff like that might be a little bit more pricey I'm not doing nothing special here I'm putting nail glue picking up um, the gems um, I do have on some top coat on the stick 
so it ha makes it like easier to sticky and press them um, without them clouding the gems. That's a good tip. That's what I use because I don't have a stud picker up or thingy majingy. Why these things look like I really wanted to shop why they look professional they cute these is real cute this also is from Aliexpress as well it's cuticle oil it comes in like 10 different scents and flavors this one is pineapple aloe vera and bomb I tell you bomb bomb I think this was like 50 cent look at that yes I really love these nails I am so happy how they came out um, I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Let me know if you want me to do more nail videos because you guys seem to love my last nail videos. Like every nail video I post, you guys love them. And why not me show y'all how to do y'all nails on a budget? So XXL acrylic nails for under $10, period. Make sure you go subscribe and check out my other videos. And I love you guys. See you in my next video.